still there. Right side's oh. clear. Right side. Jeez. Right side's clear. Hello everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to the beautiful Suzuka where we're going to be doing a fixed Ferrari race. Now first things first, I know things look a bit different, I'm on the wrong side to what I normally am and I'm using a new microphone. I need you to let me know in the comments what you think of the audio. I'm not going to do any post processing to the audio, I just want to see what it's like. I might need to tinker with the um, EQ on the GoXLR but I'll do that for the next one. I want to see what this one's like first of all. And I've had to buy all this gubbins behind to attach it to and a mic stand. Bit of a nightmare week, but let me know what you think because I can always pinch the other one back off Julie. So anyway, on with the race. So it's a 15 minute race around Suzuka in the fixed Ferrari. We have qualified P6 with a 202.331. Just a tenth or so behind Stee in P5 but a smidge in front of the guys right behind me. So this is anybody's race. So at any point during the video, if you do like it, please remember to click on the like button. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel. So 15 minutes around Suzuka in the Ferrari. I nearly didn't make it to the end. Let's get on track. Okay, here we go. Fixed Ferrari at Suzuka. New microphone. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is it better than the other one or is the other one better because I can easily get that one back from Julie. I've given it to her. Well, let me know what you think. So this one's going to be a tough one. Strength of field is only 2.5k, but the air everybody is quick. Celsius, B6. Dino was 1.9 seconds quicker than me around here. That is absolutely mental. Follow car number six in the right column. <laughs> Uh, but Krista, he was really quick in practice, the guy in P2. I've raced against Steve Phillips a few times. He's super quick. Danny's quick. Roman's quick. We just want to survive. That's the main thing. No break by is 51.8. I found that's the uh, sweet spot in the Ferrari for me. Is it going to go? Focus. Yep. Here we go. Green, green, green. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. So objective wise, I don't know what we can aim for here. If we can come out of this with positive eye rating, then I'd be a happy man. These guys might just clear off, actually. The two guys behind us were only <laughs> like a few hundredths of our time. So um, we were a good tenth and a bit behind Stee. Okay. But we did mess up our second quality lap. So when we were going quicker, we we're about two tenths up. Oh, blimey. Off track, yeah. What it would be. The off track seem to have been relaxed here a little bit at Suzuka, I think. A couple of places where you can go a bit wider than I remember. I went a bit wide then and practiced a couple of times. And hit the grass. On a couple of places actually. I span off through 130R a couple of times. That curb on the uh, on the outside's an absolute nightmare. I hit the grass there as well, on entry to 130R. Oh, 
bad exit out of there. I might give uh, Christian a bit of a sniff. I have to defend this. I'm hoping that we can keep up here now and we don't lose these guys because if we do then it's going to be a bit of a nightmare trying to keep that guy off our back that's behind. go wider there than I thought you ever could. I can't remember going that wide there in previous previous seasons. But we're back with them now anyway. Look at the Deltron. It's a bit late coming over there. <laughs> Good save, Danny. Could do with him doing the same on the next lap. Really? He's losing the draft of Steen now. If he does. We might have a shot in the top five. Okay, Dave. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Stay on it. This isn't over yet. You're right, Jim. It isn't. But yeah, let me know what you think of the new microphone. I've never. I've done a couple of test recordings, but obviously, it's different when you're racing. No idea positioning wise where I need to be. I think it's about right. Danny, Danny, Danny! What was that? Obviously a mistake. Didn't mean to do it. We're quite clean through the chicane. This guy was keen though. Shoved it right up the inside, did Robert. We fought next to that as well, did we?
Yeah, we've got a 4x. Dang. Hopefully we've got no damage. Okay, Dave. Halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. Bit of slide there. Come on, Christian. Let's play nice. B5. All about being smooth through here if we can. Opening these up as much as we can. Not rushing it. I rushed that one. All right, though, we've got it back. You could never run that wide before, ever, don't think. So Steve's gone now, we're not going to catch up with Steve, but all we need to focus on now is trying to keep Christian at bay. And there as well, you would usually get an off track there. I keep looking up there for the camera because I've moved it to there. Yeah, you'd usually get an off track coming off there. That's five minutes to go, five minutes. Christian's quick though. <laughs> we can't shake him. They can attend to so out of Steve. Try not to, Jimbo. We'll probably lose a little bit more I rating here as well. Safety rating, sorry. We might get lucky and, and break even with the I rating. We might get lucky. Two guys are ahead of us with a lower I rating and probably nobody behind us with a higher I rating. That's got a recipe for I rating loss all over it there. Dropped off Christian a little bit.
I tell you what though, we're really lucky that we're still going. We got, he turned us and then, I don't know whether he turned us back round or whether it was the other guy. But we got lucky, we're lucky we're still going, that's for certain. So it could have been worse, could have been worse. That's two minutes left, two minutes. That's half fuel, you've used half your fuel. Yeah, that's enough track. So, you can go off there, but not that much. <laughs> ah, Steve lost a little bit of time there. I don't know what happened. I don't think there's anybody within striking distance of each other up ahead. Why did I go to fourth gear there? Probably thinking about lunch. But who was the guy that was battling earlier on? It was Danny, who was the other guy? Was it Robert? the circuit though the Ferrari fixed is good round here I do like it I don't know how some of them are so quick though I mean it's just skill isn't it I'm, I'm a oh another one a big advocate of fixed setup races so if somebody beats me at least I know that it's me it's not the setup and if I beat somebody obviously same well, I do like fixed setups for that reason. It's a great leveller. Because some people have got access to the OP setups that other people don't. And paid setups, not everybody can afford it. So, um, got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. I do like the fixed setup for that reason. I haven't done an open setup race for a while, actually. All been fixed stuff. I don't need to mess up here now. Oh, too deep. Alright though. Good move. Ooh, cheeky. P5. Well done, mate. Good nice finish. one. Nice one. P5. Sorry, Danny. God knows where we're gonna rank in the old I rating Thank you. charts. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about them. Yeah, God knows if we're gonna make any I rating off that race. God knows. But we'll have a look at the carnage. I would imagine. Oh, you need to sort out your blinking. It is so distracting. <laughs> okay, then let's have a look at the carnage. This is lap one. Out lap. He's going to blink. Yes, he is. Thought he would. We'll get rid of him. Oh, he's blinking like mad ahead, look. Nothing there. He's blinking. Oh, crikey, what happened there? Right, so that Ferrari got turned ahead, the red one. Oh, blimey. Then all hell broke loose behind. Oh, my word. Oh, I'm pleased we're in front of that one. He's going to blink, is he? 
Ah, just gets clipped by that guy, Ferrari. Is it going to be a weird curb? Yes, it is. Oh, well, bravo, bravo. Carried on like nothing happened. Oh, dear. Easy done. Done that a few times. I think we all have. Oh, and this is what happened to us. I think it was a bit of net code, this, but it was. Huge net code. But thankfully, pushed us back round and we kept on trucking. Oh, I don't see he's going to do it again. He is. Fun off this time, though. And this was in front of us. This is the big send by <laughs> that guy. Number six. Oh, blimey. And we snuck through. That's a bold move, Cotton. Average Joe's. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, that was lucky. Oh, my word. Not the number six, number eight. Oh, it's the same car that sent it earlier on, on the same car. We curb. Yeah, your car shouldn't do that there. That's, there's something wrong with that curb. It's broken. And it has been for as long as I remember. And that's it. Right. Let's have a look at the results. Okie dokie. So there were three splits. This was top split, strength of field, 2,451. But we lost again. More safety rating, 0.32. But we gained... 13i rating that takes us over 4.4k. So Dino got the win. Krista got P2 and Roman got P3. Steve P4 and we rounded the top five with 13i rating gain. Seven incident points. That's annoying. So who was the biggest winner? Uh, probably going to be, oh no, Jason there. Finished P7. Cracking result for Jason. He gained 65. And the biggest loser is... Yeah, it's Nico. Uh, four laps down. He lost 64. There we go, P5. To be honest, I'm really happy with that. Safety rating loss. That's plummeting like a stone. But an I rating gain. Although a small one, it takes us over 4.4k. My I rating hasn't been that high probably for around two and a half years. Now, I want to try and build on that if I can now. I want to try and push on and see if we can get close to that 5K. I think the highest I've ever been was something like 4,750. So I'd like to try and beat that if I can. We're not a million miles away. I just need to pick and choose my races carefully. So if you did like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget... Let me know what you think of the mic. It is a bit echoey. I've listened to a little bit back. It is a bit echoey. So I might need to do some soundproofing or some deadening somewhere or wear a big woolly jumper. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great week, everyone. See you later. Oh, by the way, it's coming home.